Episode 1, Life Cycles, The Elephant Hawk Moth. These moths start out as tiny green eggs placed on the bottom of a leaf on a plant. These plants can be a variety of stuff such as rose bay willow herb, Himalayan balsam, bed straw, fuchsias, etc. After about 10 days these eggs will hatch into tiny green caterpillars with tiny horns on the back. But don't worry, these horns are not harmful and is only to scare away predators. These caterpillars will then eat, eat and eat all day long. While doing so these caterpillars will then give off frass or waste, a lot of it, the caterpillars will then go through phases called instars. And they have in total 5 instars with each one of them being a little different in size and coloration. Some of these colors can be green, black, brown or dark green, but most caterpillars turn into a black coloration when they approach their last instars. When the caterpillars have reached their final instars they can reach a size up to 8.5 cm. These caterpillars then start their journey on finding the perfect spot to pupate. This is usually when people spot them crawling across the sidewalk. Once they have found a suitable spot they burrow into the ground and cover their surroundings with a little silk as protection so they can pupate successfully. Here you see a freshly pupated caterpillar. When they are in this stage they are very vulnerable and therefore it's best to leave them alone. The caterpillars then stay inside the pupae where a lot of changes happen over winter and hatch out in spring as beautiful moths. These moths need to find flowers at night to drink nectar from and when they have found some, they can hover in the air while doing so. But in captivity they usually feed on honey water or sugar water. Here's a clip of me feeding an elephant hawk moth. 